Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to use Google Classroom using your part or your day one classroom. So this is the first slide. If you want to push present, you may. Um, so you can kind of just go through your slides. Um, but I will show you how to use it exactly. So day one, it gives you the instructions. It says read the text. To read the text, you can push um, pre um, present on the top corner to make it bigger. To write on the slide or to move the lines, you can um, you cannot be on present. So if you want to write on your um, on your slideshow or move something, you can't do it when it's looking like this. So you would have to just go to the way it looks like this. So it says where it says type your answer here. You can click it, and then if you erase it, you can write your name. or anything you need to in red. If it has a circle, you can move the circle wherever you need to. So if I move it here, it would circle and I would circle number one, over here, number three. And then there's a line here. If there's a line, you can move it underneath, under something, so you can see how to move them around. So if I go to your um, introduction, it says, um, read the introduction, answer the questions, and go back to the text. So, to read it, I wish push present. So you can, it's bigger, you can read it. And then to answer the question, you can't click to type here. But if I click it, you see it goes back to model, so push escape. And when it says type answer here, you would just delete this. And then you can write the answer is and that's how you would uh, fix that so then we come over here to where it says try it it says read the story again write the gist so right here you would write the gist right here you would erase it write the gist and then number three says, move the purple lines to underline text evidence. So you're gonna read your question. It says, what space can you conclude was bigger? Uh, the spot Zach liked or the one that Zanya liked. So you literally just get your line and you move it underneath to high underline your text evidence. So if you can see like that, things like that. And then, right there where it says type your answer use text evidence you literally erase it and write your answer here um, same thing goes here um, you read it and then right here it says why is Cal asking these questions and you write your answer here same thing you can erase it and then write your answer Then it says right here, your question says, based on the story, do you think Cal jumped, do you think Cal had jumped on a trampoline before? So once again, you could use these lines, underline the question. Um, if you want to, you can totally get a shape. And you can circle your keywords here. Cow jump like that. Um, if you want to be a little extra, you can. Um, and then use your lines to underline text evidence. Circle your best answer, whatever you think it is. And then you justify your answer here. And that's what you do. So hopefully this makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, you can always uh, reach me on Class Dojo. You can reach me on Google Classroom. I am here on my computer ready for your questions.